Hey guys, it's Billy T from Fortuna Interactive Studios, and welcome to the not-so first episode of our absolute beginner Unreal Engine tutorial series. In this series, I will be showing you all the basics of Unreal Engine, in hopes that one day you can all create your very own games using Unreal. This series will also cover some more advanced and in-depth topics later down the line, but we will start with the extreme basics at first. I started developing using Unreal Engine two years ago, and while there was a huge variety of tutorial series out there for the engine, None of those tutorials really covered the absolute basics, which really made my first few months as an Unreal developer a complete guessing game, as I tried to follow the tutorials without even knowing what they were talking about to begin with. So, my goal with this series is to provide an ultimate guide into the world of Unreal Engine game development, um, and, you know, the episodes we will get more and more in-depth as we move forward, but here's what the series has planned so far. Um, and also, keep in mind, in the background what you're seeing right now is the game that i've been working on for the past two years so enjoy that little shameless plug uh, while i go over these topics so for episode one i will be covering creating your first project and also navigating the engine's user interface so we'll create our first project in the engine and i'll show you what all of the different you know little nods and doodads do in the engine itself so you'll at least know how to navigate the uh, the user interface there Episode 2 will cover the basics of blueprints, how they work at a base level, and we'll also go into some basic do's and don'ts of blueprint creation. Episode 3 will go over Unreal Engine's user interface crea creation, which is, you know, actually putting things on the screen. Uh, that's also, you know, how to use the widget system in Unreal Engine, and it it'll go over a simple health bar HUD with a crosshair. So we'll have an actual health bar there with a crosshair, and, you know, the health bar won't actually track your health yet, but that's what episode 4 is for. Um, because in episode four, I'm going to teach you guys how to create an, a health system to keep track of your player's health. And uh, this will, you know, teach you how to add ways to heal your player and also hurt your player. Um, in episode five, we will explore the usage of plugins and third party assets. So, you know, third party assets, plugins, assets, stuff like that, that you buy off the marketplace or you can even get them for free in a lot of places. No tutorials really cover um, the do's and don'ts of. of purchasing those assets because a lot of times you can look at an asset and think it's really cool but in reality it's something you shouldn't purchase because it might only take you an hour to make yourself and you can save your money or it's just in general a bad asset and you don't want to purchase it so i'll go over some of the good plugins to buy good assets to buy um, and the things to look for in those assets because in my opinion i think that's a very important part of developing with unreal especially if you're doing you know a solo if you're a solo dev and you know you're more on the programming side and you want to do art or if you're more art and you want to purchase programming stuff you know it's very important to know those do's and don'ts so i gotta keep talking forever but then again i can't so here's a list of the rest of the planned episodes you're gonna see it on your screen um and you know there's more episodes to come and they'll be planned and released after this initial list is out but this is what has been planned so far and while this tutorial series will be more focused on a simple survival game, the mechanics you learn here can and, and most likely will be used in virtually any application that you make. So, you know, while I really want y'all to follow this tutorial series and have a good time with it, you know, don't, you know, be scared to, to venture out and do your own things with what you've learned here. Um, and in fact, I recommend each and every one of you to follow this tutorial series with the mindset of wanting to learn, but not necessarily wanting to use here all of the code and everything we do here in your own projects. And the reason before, like for that is because one thing I've, I've always hated about some tutorial series on Unreal Engine, on YouTube and wherever else you might find them is a lot of them can guide you down these rabbit holes and you know, you, you watch the tutorial series and you follow it. And then it makes you think that there's only one right way to do it. And in reality, that's just not true at all. It's the complete opposite. There's probably thousands of ways to do one thing. And some ways might be faster. Some ways might be slower. Some maybe, you know, look better than others. But, you know, it, however you find it easiest and best to do, that's what you should do. So with this tutorial series, I really want to explore all the different options to do, you know, really basic things. That way, when you get to the more advanced things, you'll see all the different options to do that as well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's why I'm making the series and I, I hope that you guys, you know, enjoy it. And, uh, you know, the first episode should come out within the next day. Uh, it'll be going over, you know, creating your first project and the user interface. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I'm really excited to get the series on a roll. So let's have a good time.